Good morning, everybody. This is my reading for my Sagittarians. So let's get right into your reading because your cards are popping. If you're new to my channel, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. When you're done watching the video, if you like it, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to leave me a comment, please do so in the comment section down below. Thank you so very much, and let's get into your reading. Sagittarius. The first card that came out for you is the hangman. So this is telling me right away that you or somebody you're dealing with needs to try to look at things from a different perspective. With the five of wands here, the five of wands talks about, this is a card of competition, and it's also about conflict and power struggles. It represent it could represent delays and annoyances and arguments. So what the full card is saying that you need to jump out and do something new. If you want to start a new business, then do that. If you want to move, do that. Whatever it is, just take a chance and do it because you never know where it will lead you. With the eight of cups, you're going to be leaving. <clears throat> Excuse me, you guys. Some people, places, or things behind. With the two of swords, it's like you don't want to see a situation for what it is. You don't. You, you need to make a head of a hard decision, but you're not trying to see things for what they are because you have this on your eyes and you're just stuck. You don't know what to do about a situation, but something's gonna happen really, really fast. Something's coming in fast for you. However, with the three of cups, this talks about celebrations here, and some of you are with the four of cups. Waiting or thinking about an offer that's going to come in. The Ace of Swords. It's like you're really, really. This is about communication and things of that sort with the Ace of Swords. This card is a beautiful card. And it's like you got to have some kind of co communication with somebody and things of that sort. The Ace of Swords also represents using the power of the intellect in a just and righteous manner. It indicates resolving a situation. Being steadfast and achieving victory, the ace represents new beginnings, a new point of view, or a new inspiration. And with the hermit card, it's like you're taking the time to sit down and think about a lot of things that's going on in your life in regards to a partnership here with this two of cups. Something you've been waiting on horizon to come in, it's going to come in for you because your ships is coming in because this is the three of wands here. You see the ships right there. Some of you have been thinking or reminiscing about your past. You could be thinking about an ex or your ex could be thinking about you as well. Some of you with the Ten of Wands, you've taken on a little bit too much. And it's kind of like weighing you down. It's like you put on too many hats and now you can't really kind of try to deal with this situation. But it's like a heavy load that you've taken on. Some of you feel as though you've lost something here with these two cups down, three cups down, two still up. To look on the positive side, yes, you've lost these three cups, but you still have two full cups behind you. But you're feeling kind of let down by the situation. Some of you need to try to figure out which path are you going to go on. It's a decision that needs to be made. With the star card you have here is hope. So that's hope in regards to any situation that's going on in your life. You also have the options card. So it's either you or somebody you're dealing with have a lot of options going on. All right, Sagittarius, this is your reading. Please like and subscribe, comment to my channel. I thank y'all so very much. Have a very blessed day.